And we're back with Calvin Johnson in our Master Clip series, Positive Vibrations Foundation. For our third song, it's called Anova. And this you wrote when you were a business student. And tell me a little bit about it. Where did you go to business school? So I was in business school at University of New Orleans, UNO. UNO. Okay, great. Yeah. And, um, you know, that was that was a, a culture shock for me, you know, being born and raised in New Orleans into a musical family, a musical family. And then up until that point, going to college for music, you know, so if you know UNO's campus, the PAC sits in the middle of the campus where the music building is. And then all the way in the back of the campus is the business building. Music students generally don't go to the back of the campus <laughs> in Kirschman Hall for the business building and vice versa. So then I remember I got to the business building my first time and I was like, wow, they have doors that actually work here. It's like real bathrooms. Like this is where the money is going. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was the first thing that popped my mind open. Second thing was, I never forget this. First day of business class, uh, of business school, and, and I hit uh, microeconomics. I get into my microeconomics class. First off, jazz department, your earliest class is probably like noon, 1 p.m., <laughs> but the professor's showing up there. You probably hung with the professor the night before at some jam session or whatever. But this, this, this uh, microeconomics class started for 8 a.m., at 7.59, the professor shows up with a cup of coffee, a three-piece suit on with cufflinks, some Ferragamo shoes. I mean, you know, just totally business to the T. Eight o'clock comes, he locks the, closes the door and locks it, and he just starts talking. And he started talking about money and time value, and all these kind of just economic theories and whatever. And I remember I kept asking questions, and he got, he got, annoyed and irritated not at me for asking questions but he got annoyed because I wasn't grasping the information and then I remember I left class and I called my mom up and I was like mom yo you won't believe this she's like what honey I'm like yo this rich dude just stood in front of my class for 90 straight minutes and he just talked money and he got mad at me when I didn't understand it and he talked money to me more until I got it I was like, what is this place called? <laughs> <laughs> so that was business school. But then eventually I got to the point where I had to do uh, the dreaded business statistics class. Oh, yeah. And uh, you were a business major. You know about this class. And actually, the, the killing thing about this class was my professor at the time, he was a, uh, he was a former violin maker. So you're talking about like a person that's real brainy, real mathematical, but he also... You know, use the other side of his brain. He was making violins. So that's unrelated, but just a good thing to know. So I was sitting in class and he was teaching us about the analysis of variance, ANOVAs. And he was talking and it sounded like he was just talking Cleon to me. I'm like, man, I don't know what the, what is he talking about? And this was kept, just kept going on. And every time he would open his mouth, my, my brain would kind of like tune out. And instead of hearing the words, my mind would just hear the pitches in which he was delivering the words. And it was kind of like look, 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 looking at like the principal in Charlie Brown. He wasn't really saying anything. It was just like, wah, 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 wah. I was like, oh, oh, wow. Oh, okay. So then I sat in class and I made a voice memo of this melody that I heard him or what I thought I heard him singing. And I went home and, and, uh, and figured it out. And I actually got the concept of a, you know, a Nova analysis of variance, not did good, in the, did great in the class, but I came out of there with the knowledge from the class as well as with this song. Sweet. And the killing thing about this song too, the reason it is an analysis of variance is the the A section is in is in six, and the B section is in seven for all of my music heads out there. So if you want, you can count along with us in six, and then when we go to the bridge, you can count along with us in seven. Mm. <laughs> you good? You want to try it? Yeah. All right, here you go. Uh, uh, uh.
Thank you.